morts, 59 autres blessés. Pour l'instant, les Américains ne savent pas si le GI s'est épuisé. Ils enquêtent. I saw Mazin. He screamed one time and he was putting his hand on his chest and fall down on the ground. And start screaming on him, you know. I saw him bleeding. I look, I saw the American soldiers around us. And I spoke to the scream to the same soldier who shot him. Like, why did you shoot him, you know? But with our TV, you see him with the camera, why did you shoot him? And I told him, you shot him, please stop the bleeding. It's bleeding too much. He was bleeding very really too much from the back. So you shot him, you help him. Stop the bleeding. And it took a few minutes when a medical doctor came from one of the, from an ABC. And they start making him first aid. But he was already bleeding too much and then he was in last moments, you know. It was completely quiet and normal. I really have, I don't understand why, why they start shooting at us. I don't know, it was his last day in, in Baghdad. He was supposed to go to Amman, meet with his wife and children for a wedding for his nephew and Amman. So what I can tell you is that last night um, an individual was engaged and unfortunately killed by coalition forces in the vicinity of Abu Ghraib prison. Um, that individual was later identified as a reporter. Uh, the individual was transported to the 28th Combat Support Hospital where he was pronounced dead on arrival. At this stage I can't give any more information than that. Um, his name is being withheld by us pending uh, notification of his next of kin and that, investiga uh, that incident is under investigation.